And that's me, by the way, not the old dude on the right. Um, but this kind of, I always, I like to show this picture because there's some ways in which it really says everything you need to know. Not everything, but it says some things, right? First off, uh, that's my dad. He was 56 when I was born. So uh, my mom had three, five kids. I was the only one that was planned. I was the, young, the last one, the youngest. Uh, crazy. Isn't that crazy? You have five kids and only one is planned. <laughs> I feel wanted in life. You know what I mean? Take, this is back in probably 1962 or 1963. I'm wearing pink with a doll. Playing with a doll, I'm wearing pink. My parents were like, whatever, yeah, you wear pink, you play with a doll. I'm sure other people, you just didn't do that back then because these gender roles, right? Like boys in blue and they don't play with dolls and all that kind of stuff. And like, so I was, always, I was outside of the box then, I'm outside of the box now. This is not a conventional class. I don't live a conventional life. I'm not a conventional person. I was, at two years old, I was not conventional. So there it is, right? So here's a couple of things. A, that are kind of probably pertinent to the class. I'm white, right? So I've had my ancestry, my DNA ancestry testing. And I'm actually 1.3% Sub-Saharan African. So I got a little bit of a brother card. It's a, <laughs> it's a tiny card, mind you, right? It doesn't get, I'm not allowed to drop the N-bomb and... You know what I mean? I can kind of whisper it maybe, but uh, there it is, right? So I'm working class, born working class. Um, my father died when I was nine. I, had, I was working full time when I was 14. I was paying for all my school stuff, whatever it was. I, I, uh, all my, <laughs> my illegal accoutrements. Um, I discovered weed when I was 12, and yeah, uh, <laughs> so uh, that, strangely enough, probably saved, kept me alive, saved my life. Uh, it made school much more interesting. Uh, I was not a good student. I was actually a really, I was an avid reader, and I always enjoyed thinking, especially after the age of 12. Uh, so I, I thought a lot, always thinking, always just daydreaming and thinking about things and trying to figure things out and always reading. I was always, always reading, but I never took grades seriously, never looked at my report card, even when I was a kid, never once between like probably seventh grade and a senior in my graduating high school, I never once took a book home from school. Uh, I had a fake ID when I was 15. Dude, I was living the life, right? So I had a really cool childhood because I had the space to allow myself to really test the limits and then grow and expand and come into maturity on my own terms without adults telling me what to do. Because when my dad died, my mom was working three jobs and just really, really busy. And so I graduate high school with like a 2.3 GPA, which was cool. So I only found that out like 10 years after I graduated. I had no idea what my GPA was. Um, didn't matter, like who cares, right? I graduated. So I uh, applied to college, University of Toledo, because the guidance counselor, I went to see a guidance counselor and he's like, uh, what are you gonna do when you graduate? I'm like, I don't know, I, I was a musician. So I played drums, I was playing in bands all the time. I'm like, well, I'll probably play music or something. And he's like, well, okay, well, you're not thinking about applying to college, are you? I'm like, nah, no, I don't know. But then I found out that if I applied to college, I could get a day off school, which didn't matter because I skipped school all the time. I started taking classes, but I would drop. Like I wasn't really serious about school because I was busy. I was, I was working, I was, a, I was painting and doing some light construction work and doing and playing music and playing the club scene and so on and so forth. So I was really busy. But uh, so I would start the semester with like 16 credits and I would end with, you know, like one semester I started with 16, I ended with one credit. It was a racquetball course and I got a D in that, right? So, uh, but back then what would happen would be that you would get W's if you stopped going to class, not F's. So my transcript has all these W's on it. Look at, I made a W kind of, right? Like after two and a half years 
after two years, I transferred to the community college because I said, well, I'll just get an associate's degree and that's good enough. I'll have a two-year degree and like, that's, that's fine, right? And then I stopped going to all, I have four classes. I stopped going to three of them. And so this was it, man. I was on my way out, right, of college. I would never go back. And I went to the library because that's what I did. I'd always go to the library and just read books. So I went to the library and I'm going through the bookshelves, right? And I saw this journal on prisons. And it turns out it was a social work journal. And, and I started looking at it. I said, you know, that's actually really interesting. Prisons, right? And working in a prison, that would be really cool. That would be a cool experience. So I went to the phone. It was, you know, like on the wall, right? And I go over and I pick up the phone. I get the operator. And I say, hey, can I get the social work department? And I knew where it was because I had had a class a couple years earlier. So I went, I talked to this guy, and I enrolled in social work, right? And that was it. I stopped going to class. And then the next semester, I became a student full-time. Full-time. Like, I, was, I quit music. I quit my job. I quit everything. I just became a student. And my first semester back, I studied 24-7, man. Because I didn't have the study skills. You know what I mean? Like, I could read, but I didn't know what a verb and a noun was. I mean, ah, whatever, right? And, uh, and I got a two Bs and two Cs, which to me was, I was killing it, you know? And so... Uh, then I just kept going and then I transferred to sociology because it was cooler and then I never looked back I just never looked back and to this day. I love Ah oh, Man, I just like it just opened up, you know, the, the world just opened up to me in some new kind of way I still didn't take grades seriously and by the way when I took the SATs when I was a senior in high school I scored in the 51st percentile so I am above average. <laughs> and being above average is probably, is pretty cool. It's barely above average, but I'm above average. And uh, most things I do, I just want to be above average, right? So then I went to grad school. I did my master's at University of Toledo because it's the only place it would take me. And then I went off and did my PhD, right? And now I'm here by accident. So I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm here. I've been here 27 years. Last summer, my wife and I decided we were finally going to stay at Penn State. It took us 27 years, but we're finally here. So, like, whew, I'm, like, really ready. I'm ready to be here. Okay, that's my life. Pop it up!